Hi, I'm Ruby and welcome back to the Big Sis YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be exploring what virtual reality is and its biggest commercial selling point, the theory of immersion. Virtual reality is computer generated technology that creates a virtual or pretend environment. The decrease in the price of virtual reality headsets has made it possible to open up this technology to consumer use. However, according to Loomis 2016, virtual reality has not only become something for recreational gaming use, VR has become a widely used tool for basic research in psychology and neuroscience, as well as a tool for training complex skills, architectural execution, the treatment of phobias and more. Some benefits of VR described by Arnaldi et al. 2018 is cost reduction in the design process of things such as buildings, improved training and heightened safety, for example, driving, executing precise gestures, such as surgical, industrial or sports, enhancing creativity, digital arts and storytelling, assisted driving of planes, cars and ships, assistance in carrying out industrial gestures, such as maintenance or surgical procedures. Evans explains VR as a medium that intends to immerse the user to the extent that they feel they are in a different location from the one the person is physically in at the time. Slater and Wilbur, 1997, cited in Evans, argue that immersion is the degree to which VR projects stimuli onto the sensory receptors of VR users in a way that is extensive, matching, i.e. has congruence or resemblance between different sensory feelings, surrounding, vivid, interactive and plot forming. Furthermore, immersion is explained by Evans as a tightly crafted development of visual sounds, narratives and haptics. The most challenging aspects of achieving seamless virtual reality simulations, according to Evans, include latency, the current ability of graphics, the weight of the headset and the feel and use of handheld remotes. Additionally, Loomis argues that out of all the senses, touch gives the strongest impression of being directly in contact with external objects. Therefore, this is also a limitation in achieving immersion in VR, as you cannot physically feel the simulated environment or objects. Where will virtual reality be in 10 years? Evan suggests that virtual reality currently only provides an idea of the type of immersion possible, but not yet achievable. In the future, it is theorized that virtual reality will become indistinguishable from reality. It's not only exciting, but it is also terrifying. <laughs> well, that's all for today. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed. Um, have a good week. Bye.